Shalom family. So what I want to point out to you here in this article directly is they say the devil is once again in the details at COP28. That's the way they position this article. Then they carry on talking about fossils and fossil fuels and all these things on the agenda to 2030 and everybody coming into agreement with that and everything that's going down. They do not mention the fact that tomorrow the General Assembly of the United Nations is going to be meeting together to push for a permanent ceasefire in Gaza and that's the whole Israel war situation. That could all be connected to this and pushed through as one massive agreement, one that could be strengthened by someone in the dock. So it's just interesting for me the way they have positioned this title. The devil, and they're spot on, is once again, because he has constantly been busy with this thing from the beginning, in the details at COP28. They're telling you where to look and what to watch. So keep an eye on it. It's definitely uh, the grid work and the foundation of that final massive agreement that he will strengthen shortly. We're seeing prophecy become real in front of our eyes. So just remember Daniel 9.27 And he shall prevail, have strength, be strong, be powerful. He shall confirm a covenant. Confirm, strengthen, give strength to a covenant with many much, many, great, as in nations, for one week. But in the middle of the week, he shall bring an end to, cease, desist, desist from, cause to cease, put an end to, exterminate, destroy. He will cause to fail, sacrifice at the temple. So it all binds down to this. This Antichrist figure, candidate, that's sitting in the shadows waiting for his moment, will step in and strengthen, confirm an agreement. So it's an existing agreement or agreements coming together and they will pull them all together and he will weave them and strengthen them for a period of one week using the same push for Agenda 2030 and all the other 2030 agendas. One week strengthened, but in the middle of that week, he won't have to hide who he truly is anymore. And he will break that covenant and he will show the world who he truly is and what power is driving him. And then it will all be open for another three and a half years. We're seeing all these things slide into place and position really fast. So for those who say it could still be 10 years, 20 years, a thousand years. Maybe sit down and look at the facts of what's unfolding on your TV screens, your mobile phones, and world news all the time. And then balance that against what the Bible told you already is going to happen at the time of the end. And then focus on a relationship with Jesus Christ. Shalom.